All right, the next session we're going to do here is we're going to go through some triceps. I'm going to show you some uh, basic tricep exercises for uh, your back of your arms. Again, your, your triceps, basically your biggest part of your arm. you got three heads on your tricep. Your elongated one, which there's certain exercises for that. The horseshoe, which is the back. There's certain exercises for that. So we'll show you. I'm going to show you probably three different exercises today and variations. And then in the future, we'll show you a bunch of different other stuff. It's just basically going to come down to uh, time. We don't have time to sit here and show you 25 different exercises that you can do. But uh, these exercises can be done by men or women. Any of this stuff I show you, uh, number one thing is say the you know uh, uh, for the women. Even though it's changed over the years, it's fantastic how the women are now into this. You know, they're understanding that uh, just because you lift weights, you're not going to be this big monster unless you want to get you know the size. It's it's just not that easy. And I, women are starting to feel more comfortable coming in the gym, and that is very important. My wife's been doing this for years. Uh, my daughter trains. I mean, it's it's phenomenal that nowadays you see just as many women in the gym hitting hard than you do guys, and that's that's how things have changed. Even with older people, now they know the older people are in here. It's fantastic. So I'm going to show you a couple exercises here. Now, the main thing about <clears throat> your triceps, especially for me or any, I mean, if you've done lifting as long as I have, you're going to have aches and pains. And your elbows are going to be shot. So, uh, like I say, so basically, I have to do. I'll do a lot of warm-up stuff. So what I'll do here is I'll come and I'll just grab the light, highest weight, and just do some one arms. Get the blood in my elbows. And this is just a ba basic push down but using it with one arm you're going to basically this here like I said, I'm not using anything with here I'm just holding this make sure my arms stay you're not seeing my wrist bend keep that straight you don't want that you know that will cause wrist problems we're coming up you want to make sure you come up and up to get that stretch that stretch is important you don't want to come here and do this up all the way stretch where my elbow is that's what you don't want moving you don't want this going this is what you don't want now what's happening is my shoulder's helping, and I'm using my shoulder. I don't want that, so the arm stays glued. Press it down, back. Same way with this one. Now, again, I'm not going to go heavy. I'm just going to show you some. This here, this is the front push down. Again, you can use. There's up to different kinds of uh, angles you can use. We'll just use this one since it's hooked up. Okay, so your grip is about right here. Now this, this is called a thumbless grip. This is what I've used almost all my life, but I've, did, I've done some reading on this. And, uh, they're saying that this, is, this does cause your elbows to even bother even worse. So they're saying that you should wrap your thumb. So I've been doing that a lot more instead of the thumbless. The main thing is to stay on top of the bar. You wanna make sure that you're, you're not like this, okay? See how my wrists are bent? That is a total no-no. That is asking for trouble. So you want your hands on top, control this way. And what we're doing is you're pushing nice and easy. I'm coming up and I'm squeezing. I'm not going here, I'm going away from my body. Okay, so I get that full step, nice and easy. And you don't want to do this crap neither. You don't want to be snapping your elbows. Nice and easy, Full movement. Nice and easy. This is a push down. Realistically, you should probably start with these first. I mean, at least warm up with them. You don't, this is actually a real good finishing exercise also. But you want to make sure you warm up. That, I can't stress that enough. So normally I'll come in here and I'll do probably 10 sets of just nothing but warming up my elbows. Because once your elbows, your elbows are like the key to everything. If your elbows are bothering you, there's a lot of things you're not going to be able to do. So if you have a bad case of elbow tendonitis or elk tennis elbow or whatever you want to call it, it sucks. So again, any, anywhere when I first come in, I'm warming up. So basically that's like, this is warm up weight for me. I'll do 25, 30, 40 reps. 
I mean, again, I'm trying to pump as much blood into my triceps as I can. That's the key. It's all about getting as much blood in there. Blood is your friend, so you're just getting in there. Now you see my, my you, know, get your, you don't want your feet way out here. Just get them nice, comfortable. Push the weight. There's a bunch of different variations you can do. The key of it, the key is your elbows. Your elbows can't move. So you'll hit your triceps a little bit different this way. That's well, that's two different variations you can do. I'm going to show you two other exercises. One's a French press with the dumbbell. You can do this with the barbell also. But this is one of those exercises that if your elbows are bothering you, it's a no-no. So again, you need to play it, see what works for you. If it's too, if it's something that's gonna bother your elbows, then don't do it. There's other exercises to go to. So but this is a real good mass exercise if done properly. Again, but the key again is as long as your elbows aren't. Now you're gonna come down here. You wanna try and keep your elbows in as much as you can, but they're gonna flare out and then back up as high as you can. Get that stretch down, up. Nice and easy. You don't want to do this. You want to make sure you don't hit yourself in the head. The heavier you get, but you want to make sure you get that stretch. The most important part on tricep exercises is the stretch. So you want to get that stretch. Now four eight sets of the four reps, eight sets of those. Um, that's a real good exercise there for, again, mass exercises. And um, later on, I'm gonna to explain to you the difference between the mass exercises and, um, and uh, isolation exercises. So these are more bulk exercises. Now you got a front, you can do a French press, which you can do at the bar, which I don't do anymore. I don't like it, because this does, this bothers my elbows big time. So I've switched and I used to do dumbbells instead. But if you're going to do the bar, you're going to grip it here. And again, the elbows is the key here. You can go here, up, tracking, make sure you don't knock yourself out in the head here. You can go back here too. The main thing is make sure your elbows, you can't, the elbows can't do this. Elbows have to stay stationary. Up, down. Just like that. That's a variation with the bar. But I prefer to do the dumbbell. And you can use the kettlebells too. And with the with the dumbbells, you just grab the dumbbells. A little more, I'll show you the kettlebells too. I like the kettlebells a little bit better because it's a little bit better. But you, again, it's the same thing. I got your dumbbells here. You're coming down past your head. Get that stretch and back up. Nice and easy. Watch my elbows, they're not moving. You don't want this here. That's taking the, you keep your elbows straight. The only thing you should be moving is your forearm. Uh, um. You can have a little bit of movement, but the main thing is to keep it going a certain way. Ugh. Again, four to eight reps of those, four sets of those, eight to 12. But you want to make sure, again, I can't stress it enough, but you do the push downs first before you, you know, start in on that stuff. Now, here's the, here's the kettle, you can use the kettle balls, basically the same thing, you just turn them like this, get a good stretch down, again, stretch up, same way, now these are very good exercises for the back of the tricep, your horseshoe, and the long handed. It's that stretch, builds that long, long hit with a tricep.
three different variations of that same exercise. The only other thing that you can do that you can change is the height of the bench. You can do incline. Decline is actually the best way to do them because you actually it correlates all three of the all, it correlates all three kind of the heads. You'll I think you get a little bit more out of doing decline ones. So like the decline bench is in there, so a lot of times you don't feel like walking all the way in there, so I'll just do them on here. It just matters how I feel, but those two exercises are really good uh, as far as uh, um, two good exercises you can do to work on your triceps that don't take a long time. I mean, the main thing, like I say, is to warm up with those. Okay, the last exercise I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a little uh, rope extensions. I'm going to show you a couple different variations of this here again. You want to get yourself set, bring this down, and squeeze them out. You can do them this way here, but you get a little bit more if you just bring it down, kick back up with that stretch back down. This, again, this is a real good finishing exercise to get when you want to get at the end of the, you want to pump as much blood in your triceps as you can. And then you can do, there's very, like I say, a variation of this one here. Do as many as you can there. You can do a drop set where you go up heavier, drop back down. I'm not going to again show you every, you know, go through a bunch of different ones. Just give you the kind of idea today, and then. You can come over here and just do a, there's a, you can just do like, it's almost like a close grip bench. You can do this on your, just to get another finishing pump. Again, another way just to get a bunch, as much blood as you can in your triceps as you possibly can. Just keep your elbows in. Basically, that's like I say, those are just some standard stuff that people were asking about. Like I say, the tricep, the one arms, the push downs, that'll work that back end. Some people, you know, they want that a little bit thicker arm in the back, tighten up their arm, that'll do that. Real good exercises. Uh, uh, like I say, the other main thing, I, again, stress enough is, is just loosen up and don't get crazy with the weights. But you'll see, like I say, everything works like I say, if you use your form and keep everything straight. So that's going to be it for today. Um, this is my Jerry Cravatis signing off. And again, I want to thank Brian and Janet for letting us use uh, the edge today to record. And we will catch you again. Have a good day.